Today, we're going to be showcasing some games where I simply try hard using the meta, which is TAC, Highway Jericho, or Agent Jericho, Wizard, Farm. And during these games, I really just try to explain how to effectively use the meta and just give you guys overall tips and tricks for when playing Battles 2. So get out your pens and paper, buckle your seatbelts, and get ready to learn some Battles 2 stuff, I guess. And it looks like we're both going to be starting off with the tax shooters as our first pop and power towers. But notice how his tax shooter is all the way in the back of the map. Mine is all the way in the front because we want these rounds to be anti stall We want to end these rounds as soon as possible. Therefore, the quicker that we pop the AI balloons, the quicker the rounds will end. By the way, we were also able to go for a round one highway man Jericho. I remember their hero is surprisingly normal Obit. But I like running with Tac Farm Wiz, Jericho on this map and anti-stalling super, super hard because a lot of players tend to want to go late game. So they use late game oriented strats. But I just focus on popping the balloons again right as they come out the map, even though I missed a crap ton of AI balloons right there. I didn't go for the blade shooter upgrade fast enough. So that's why that round, round two, lasted so long right there. But it's all good. And we're going to continue on space decoying during these earlier game rounds since we are, in fact, using a farm strategy. And they're going to be sending us some space yellows here. So let's go over the faster shooting here. I think for a map like this in a spot like this, that's all we need. We don't need to go for the even faster shooting just yet. And we can also go for our first farm here. Okay, so let's go for that too. And our level three ability will be coming here very very soon as well and they're like inconsistently equaling oh my god they went for a wizard so tack wizard those have got to be probably the most two popular towers currently in battles 2 literally everybody and their mother uses it i mean i'm currently using it so like i'm not talking down on people that use it it's just those towers are significantly good for the price that they are which their prices are super super cheap okay so i'm going to go for the even faster shooting here now, since he doesn't have Jericho, like, we don't need to make sure that, like, we have money on hand or we use up all of our money, which is very, very nice. He just can't steal money from us. And two no balloon adjustment. Oh, my God. I cannot wait until Jericho gets a nerf, guys. Like, I think everybody agrees that he 100% needs a nerf. There's just so many good things about him, and it forces so many upgrades on your opponent's side. They ultimately just have way less money than normal. It's just a whole mess. So if he sends us grouped yellows here, I'll probably end up burning a tower boost so that I can greed from my banana plantation ultimately here uh, before the start of round eight. They're actually going to balloon boost. What, just space blacks? Huh? I think we're absolutely fine against those. We don't even need to tower boost. Yeah, space blacks on a map like this, not a problem for a 2-3-0 attack shooter. So I guess that's good for us. We're also going to probably use our level three ability here. So let's use that immediately. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's not a bad idea if you're using Highway Man to use your level 3 ability right before an income boost is about to come in because that's most likely when your opponent will have the lowest amount of money since it's right before an income boost so they probably spent all their money ecoing. Hopefully that like kind of sort of makes sense. By the way, we're not going to greed here for another farm. I just don't think it's worth it like ever really. So we're just going to play it safe and start going for our Necromancer directly in the center of the map. I am sending a lot of space zebras here though. Maybe I wasn't anti-stalling that much because I feel like I shouldn't have this much money. Yet here we are. We probably should stop equaling though with uh, zebras at least. Okay, so um, we don't have enough for Necro. That's okay though. If he sends us a crap ton of purples, we can always Maelstrom. So it's not the end of the world, but let's sell you. But I also went for the wall fire upgrade on it. He has a Necromancer. So there's really nothing that we can do at him, unfortunately, especially for a long map like Thin Ice. So it is what it is. I don't know why he's equaling with grouped yellows, by the way. I don't think it's play. I don't know if it's better for us to have the wall fire spot here or up here. Regardless, we have it. Let's actually use our level three ability. It didn't sell any of his towers. That's okay, though. We still stole his money regardless, and he's not going for the wall fire. I don't think that's the play because look at these balloons. They're slowly but surely pushing through over on his side, and if I really wanted to... Oh, <laughs> well, good thing I did it. I was going to say, if I really wanted to, I could have rushed him right there with a ton of purple since these black balloons are eating most of his graveyard balloons. But he had enough money there to maelstrom, surprisingly. And he's going to end up maelstroming again. What even? Okay, I thought about going for another farm. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should hit my eco goal, which my eco goal normally when using Tac Farm Wizard Jericho 
is 1500 eco that is more than enough and that will allow you to get a banana research facility which is the top path for tier upgrade on your banana farm way before the start of round 20 because that should be your goal pretty much for every single game you want that brf up asap and i like to personally go for a 203 marketplace and then i sell that into a brf as soon as i possibly can get it we also though have to watch out for round 17 and round 18 mobs but against just normal unfortified mobs we're actually fine with just having the necromancer believe it or not unless they layer underneath purples then we have to watch out but then we just mail them of course and then we'd be fine against all those purples and at this point we just have so much money that we can easily afford a maelstrom or whatever we really desire they just maelstrom again they have an overdrive and stuff yeah it's not worth it to rush them they're quite literally over defending so i'm just not gonna worry about it i'm gonna focus on my farm game and go for my brf Ooh, okay that's a good play this is a good play here i need money i need money here and then we'll be good trust 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 one more crate yes tower boost okay over the drive should pop that down and then we should be good with the graveyard balloons okay Whew. balloon boosted four to five mobs can be very very scary so i definitely think tower boosting that was the play by the way i normally do this but i forgot to set jericho to strong strong is the best targeting for him i believe oh he's got the spike batch where he's a spinal pop and power tap interesting okay so we could just go late game with him dude i don't know should we just go for the win like that was gonna be the goal for today's video but it's already round 19 and thin ice again is just such a long map it is a late game oriented map for sure uh we could probably sell this to go for this yeah let me sell that go for as many farms as possible because again at the start of round 20 you get all of the money from your farms pretty much instantly since there's only one ai moab do have to watch out here though are we fine here um i think we leak some lives but it's fine i don't know why i from that <laughs> that was 100 percent not worth it oh they went for a 302 spike balls interesting okay so i think dude because our farms are so good i'm gonna go for the win here and look at the balloon adjustment oh my goodness that is why jericho is op that right there ladies and gentlemen boys and girls on top of that though we can send a fortified zomg for like 8.8k and i believe it's normally 11k that is crazy guys absolute insanity but let's send the fortified zomg because most likely they're they're gonna die to it right even on a long map like thin ice they just didn't properly eco in my opinion they're gonna maelstrom instantly tower boost okay so yeah I, I just don't see them defending against this i hope they prove me wrong though it's definitely possible but again they just didn't eco all that much and stuff so i guess while he tried to defend against that might as well just continue farming over on our side by the way we could have easily went for a, a um, monkey wall street but i think at this point probably just gonna skip that route and go straight for my b central and he popped it down into the bfb lairs okay so he's got that going for him he needs like super maelstrom super maelstrom would probably actually defend for him by the way i think we can sell everything into a b central yes we can b central in round 24. that's actually crazy crazy freaking good oh dude he might defend this okay he needs maelstroms he needs maelstroms or he's dead um okay <laughs> he's dead hey he gave it a good and valiant effort in my opinion but again it just came down to his ego game and the fact that we had jericho as our hero ggs i'll catch you on the next one and this time around it looks like our opponent's gonna be starting off with the dartling gunner as their first bomb power tower so this time i decided to use highwayman jericho but i think highwayman jericho is actually better when going against pure eco strategy users and that's because with his level three ability he steals 250 dollars from you but as he levels up he'll steal more and more but the thing is if you don't have enough money on hand for jericho to steal then it will sell the cheapest tower that would cover the cost it would take for jericho to be able to steal the full amount so hopefully that kind of sort of makes sense but he's just a lot more aggressive or can be a lot more aggressive than normal jericho since normal jericho he can't force you to sell a tower he only steals the money that you have on hand and because of that if you just spend all the money that you have on hand he'll quite literally steal no money because you have no money to steal so there's pros and cons to both heroes the cooldown of the level three for highwayman jericho happens to be i think double the amount of time compared to just normal jericho so that also kind of sucks but if you time it up right then you can force your opponent to sell a tower which is pretty freaking cool if you do ask me by the way round six is here the adjustment's gonna start hitting but he has a 022 dartling gunner so 
Lucky for him, he can pop Camel Balloons. He's going to be absolutely fine. We too will be absolutely fine. And since he's using a pure eco strategy so far, he has yet to set down any farms. I think he's probably going to be sending us Yellow Balloons here. And if he does, I'm going to burn a Tower Boost to defend against them. Because I would rather go for my Banana Plantation earlier on then go for more towers, more upgrades that I don't necessarily need right now. So it kind of sucks to get the burn a tower boost, but it is actually worth it because banana plantations make a lot of freaking money. Rounded is here, so let's transition into space purple eco. Trying to go for the valuable bananas upgrade. I'm going to use my level 3 ability here too as well. He never sent us any grouped yellow eco, so I'm happy about that. But this is a passive player, just like the last guy, because I don't think they were ecoing all that effectively. There's nothing that you can do, unfortunately, about it. They're easily, even with me stealing their money, easily going to have enough money for their proper mid-game defenses. They just need a Hydra Rocket Pods, and they're going to be pretty good. Like, you can rush a Hydra Rocket Pods. It's just risky, and it's going to cost you a lot of freaking money. Maybe I shouldn't be sending Zebra Eco here, by the way. Probably not. I'm actually going to sell you to go for the Necromancer. Ooh, wait, purples are here. Purples are here. Space purples are descending. Uh, we should be fine, though, because there are some graveyard balloons now spawning in. Let's go for the wall of fire as well. He still doesn't have his Hydra Rocket Pods. Oh, he's about to go for it. Okay. So he has his HRP all the way at the front of the map. He's going to be popping the AI balloons right as they come out, which is not good for him. He's using an eco strategy. The quicker, again, that you pop those AI balloons, the quicker the rounds will be. Eco is time dependent. Farms, though, are round dependent. Farms will produce a certain amount of bananas every single round, whereas eco comes in every six seconds. So because of that, as an eco user, you want the game to last as long as possible. So you want the rounds to last as long as possible. So you should wait to pop those AI balloons for as long as you possibly can. And since he doesn't have a highway, man, we don't have to worry about like having money on hand. We can just full on max eco here. And two, if he wanted to rush us with a tower boost, we could defend against pretty much any rush. Uh, we have a substantial amount of eco now coming in every six seconds. And we could always sell our farm to go for a maelstrom. So we practically can defend against anything and everything at this point in time. And we hit our 1500 eco mark. Let's go for a farm here before the start of the round. If you actually go for a farm before the start of like a new round, you'll gain an extra banana. In case you did not know, but we're going to ultimately try to go for a marketplace. Oh, he's got the Alchemist. Okay, so he's using Darling Alk. I love that combo, actually, but I don't think it's going to work out all that well for him. I'm definitely going to make sure that I'm somewhat aggressive towards him. If I send him a Fortified Mod, for example, here on round 18, then he's not going to like that. Dude, see, like, the lag, bro. What is wrong? He still doesn't have Berserker Brew. I say we send it. I say we send it. I think it's worth... Now, I don't want to send two, but I'm really just trying to force that stronger stimulant upgrade. Maybe send... Oh, yeah. Just send balloons in front of that. He's tower boosted. Okay. We'll take a tower boost. Yeah, that HRP spot ain't it. Is the Alchemist even buffing his Darling Gunner? Also, target your Darling Gunner, bro. He has it on lock. Oh, my God. I think he defended barely. Bro. <laughs> yeah. He leaked down to 81 last. Okay. We'll, we'll let him be. Got the BRF up, though, well before the start of round 20, so... Farm pace is looking pretty good, even with us being aggressive right there, which is one fortified mob. I know it's not too aggressive of a rush, but nonetheless, we still did in fact send one. Um, hmm. If we want to, we can go for another wizard for extra popping power for this AI, but I think we're fine here. I'm going to try to go for another marketplace just barely off before the start of round 20. I'll go for it now. Perfect. I'm going to send him a fortified BFB here because... Alchemist and Dartling Gunner probably will struggle to that. And we, on the other hand, would be absolutely fine. Ooh, is it Super Monkey? Interesting. Okay, so he's probably going to go for a Dark Knight, which isn't a bad idea at all. It's definitely going to work out for him. But I'm going to send him a Fortified ZOMG. Just like in the first game, Fortified ZOMGs are very, very hard to defend against. So if you have a tower that easily handles it, like let's say the first strike ability with the sub, that is super, super nice to have within your strategy. I mean... We would even struggle to a fortified ZOMG ourselves, but we have these farms on hand, so we can sell these if we need the money, and we would be able to defend. By the way, I think he barely defended against that fortified BFB. Yes, he did. Okay, fair play. Well done. Since he's not being aggressive towards us, might as well just continue on upgrading our farms. I mean, look at this lag. I'm pretty sure I went against this guy in another video. No, I definitely did. I definitely did. Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> this is insane. How slow this game is running. He's in the eco. That's how confident he is. 
that he can defend against this. I mean, he could tech terror the insides. If that's his goal, then... I mean, props, but does he even have the money for that? I don't think so. Okay, wait, the pinks are actually pushing over on our side. So I'm gonna go for a tax spray to pop off that purple layer. Because that's... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We're actually gonna leave some lives here. Those purples, man. They block out the wall fire on that. Ooh, wait. Purple's here. We're just gonna go for a Maelstrom. And then we'll be good. Wait, does he actually defend this? No, there's too many insights. There's quite literally too many insights. He's so dead. He would have been dead a long time ago, but... Oh, wait, no. He might defend this. He might defend... No way he defends that, right? No way he defends that, right? Okay. I was gonna say, dude, he would have died so long ago, but it's just so laggy. Like, bro, he should not be able to play with this connection. And it looks like our opponent is gonna be starting off with the tax shooter as his first Palm Power Tower. This strategy attack farm with Jericho, it works out pretty well. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this map personally, but... We could definitely make it work out still. And I'm sorry that I'm using the strategy again, but I kind of thought I would make this like more of an educational video on how to effectively use the meta strategy currently and just give you guys like overall tips and tricks in this game. So I know a bit different than the average video that you would see here on the channel, but I just thought why not switch it up and why not try hard in BFB Coliseum. I know it's only BFB Coliseum too, I'm sorry, but I actually like staying in this arena. I'm like purposely disconnecting games left and right so that I can stay in here because ZOMG, it's very, very hard to find a game one. And two, I feel like I have an easier time with making content in an arena like BFB Coliseum because there's more free range for me to do like wacky stuff and stuff like that, you know what I mean? By the way, just use our level three ability. He didn't use his. I don't think he used his. So that is something to know. Ooh, I probably should have at least 250 on hand then. Probably would be a good idea. Yeah. Notice how he is using an eco strategy, by the way. So we are popping these balloons right as they come out the map, thus making the game go by a lot quicker, which is good for us, bad for him. Let's go for that even faster shooting, by the way. And we should be good here. So we could go for a wizard, or we could just tank these lives from these camel balloons that will be coming down within the AI. Oh, wait. Did he not go for a round one Jericho? Because there's no balloon adjustment still. Oh, okay. There's a balloon adjustment over on his side because I went for a round one Jericho. I guess he didn't. I did not notice that. But I think most of the time I like tanking the lives from the camel balloons because it's honestly not too, too many lives. Wait, still no camel? No balloon adjustment still? He didn't even go for Jericho on round two? Wait a minute. Oh my god. Okay, then yes. I am happy that we are greeting for this banana plantation here. He's still... Okay, wait. He just now went for his wizard, so fair play with that. Round eight is here. I like to slow down the eco, though, a little bit, um, just because now, yeah, a lot of camel balloons will be coming out here, so I'm going to use my level three ability as well. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. Do not worry. Do not worry. I'm going to go for the uh, valuable bananas, though, first. We still have a lot of lives, so... We are okay and good to tank some. We got the value of bananas upgrade, which is super, super good. I do need to still go for the monkey sense. So let's go for that. Camo prioritization. Why did I say it like that? And we tanked more lives than I anticipated, but we're still chilling. Do not worry. We have or will have the necromancer all the way at the front of the map. We're going to be popping these balloons e freaking immediately. Oh, wait, that's kind of scary. He sent us some white balloons and stuff. So I went for the wall of fire there. Oh, I have to play this safe here. I have to play this safe here, ladies and gentlemen. Lead balloons. Ooh, okay, so that could be an issue for us. Okay, got up the Necromancer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who would have thought lead balloons would be OP? Wait, he still doesn't even have anything. Oh, okay, he just... Okay, okay, he's fine. He just uses level three. All right, at least I think he's fine, right? He's got to be fine. Okay, he's chilling, he's chilling, he's chilling. Well done, fair play. He just, he used that almost at the perfect time. It would have sold either my banana farm. I think it would have sold my banana farm. Okay, so well done with that. Wait, he is farming? Wait, wait a minute. What in the world? Yeah, sell that. Sell that with my level three ability. What in the, okay, I've never seen that. Or maybe I have before, but obviously that was not the play. He's over defending like crazy, by the way. I mean, look at this. Double attack shooter. He was spaced eco, or no, he wasn't even max eco. I can't even remember. I'm just surprised that this man placed down his first freaking farm on round like 13. That was crazy. Okay, so since he has highway man Jericho, by the way, I don't think it would be a bad idea for us to actually chill with the eco for a second and go for a banana farm here. Reason being is because once he steals our money, 
if we don't have enough money on hand, it's going to steal our banana plantation. But I'd rather have like another tower that I could steal. So this banana farm, it should ideally, I think, steal this, okay? And look at this. We only have 1269 eco because, again, we're just popping these balloons right as they come out the map. This is freaking insane. Okay, maybe I should have the wall fire over on this side, though. Because these uh, eco balloons are definitely pushing quite a bit. So I might just need to go for another wall fire. That wouldn't be too bad of an idea because it's eating up all my graveyard balloons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. That sucks. I, I messed up there, guys. I messed up there. I, I, I'll i admit it. Okay, I'm going to send him. Ooh, I did not mean to send him a normal mob, but it's fine. I'll send him a fortified mob after that. And we're going to eco just a bit more. Just so we can hit that perfect 1500 eco or 1501. Whatever. But that rush will force some upgrades over on his side. Cause some havoc. Yet, yeah, definitely a misplay on my behalf. I should have had the wall fired down here. Not at the front of the map. Oh, is he dead? Is he dead? He's dead. He's dead. He needed to go for at least an overdrive or something. Uh, you're just going to eco? Like, he was ecoing that entire time. It, it went for a banana plantation. Dude, do you not see the fortified mob going through your screen? Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully you learned something new in today's video because that's kind of what I was going for. But nonetheless, GG's. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where this is still the best tower combination in Balloon CD Battles 2. Ninja Alchemist, it, it's so powerful, guys. You do not want to miss this video because it goes absolutely crazy in it.